Okay, quiet in the studio. It is the Christmas show. Yay! Yes! Wish Yay! Happy it's Christmas. It's Christmas. No, don't. No, no, don't. No. It's Christmas for the Raven. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sleep last night. Is that much on my mind? I hope I'm coming and going this time of year. Do you, oh. you must have been thinking of the Raven then. Say hello, Stephen. <coughs> yes, sir. Good. Did he, are we all, are we, oh, we're on. We're on. We're recording. Hello. Come on. We want some music before you actually use it all up. Go. Have we started? We've started. Oh, good grief. I was in my own little world for a minute. Well, good evening, well, everybody. I've just, uh, just got a message this, uh, off the young lady there on, the, on whatever it's called. That message. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you. I think we need to start again, John, because we didn't hear the music, so we really don't know that you've started. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, music? wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We can't hear the music, again. so he's already started, but we didn't You realize. can't hear... All right, OK, look. I'm going to start the music. <laughs> Here's the music cue now. He's forgotten what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. Now, do you hear it now? You've no, got I to hear, hear it. Thing. Oh, can't you? Not a thing. Well, would you like to hear some echo? How's that? Oh, that's better. That's better. You can hear it now. Can you hear it? Oh, oh no. yeah. You can hear it. Echo, 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 echo. Echo, echo, echo. 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 All right, okay. Well, right, listen. I'll take three. <laughs> <laughs> so you're hearing echo, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Echo. Oh, I'll turn that off, please. Give me a day. So if I go like that, <laughs> it goes there, off. There, there. Is that better? Oh, that, oh, that's better. Okay. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Eh? See this? Spot. She's trying to, She's trying to know it's a big cut. cut oh, yeah. Did, did, did hey, you? Did can, Elaine can try to get it on? Himself, right. can I? Okay, well, look. Everybody's introduced Rent themselves. Let's it do it again. Twist. Here we go. Oh, right. Well. Shut up, everybody. The music's queuing <laughs> in now. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is... Abfab, a.k.a. Jonathan Starkey, the most fabulous, the most bestest, uh, goodest-looking digital me, pub landlord me, me, of that me, me, digital me, pub me. called I Cheshire Matters. I Shut up. Shut up, 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 up. Mute it. Okay, there's the first one. What are the bets first on it tonight? Okay, Gazelle, I say good evening. good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, a very, very happy Christmas to be, and a very, very happy New Year to be. Indeed, indeed. And Mark Hartley, a.k.a. Statsman, the man with all the facts, say hello. Greetings, listeners. How are we? Hope well. All well. And are you guys, of course? Oh, yeah. How guys, don't right. forget Don't forget our friends. Friends. Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Steve, yeah. All right, yeah, Steve. Well, How's it going? How's the up just- going, Stevie? Excuse me, I'm just about to speak. Can you stop? Stop interrupting. <laughs> Did they take one or two off? <laughs> your New Year's resolution should be not only to stop interrupting, but ideally take a long breath starting in January and, and maybe give it some thought in February. Now, <laughs> so I'd just like to say good evening to all our fabulous listeners across Cheshire, the world and beyond, and wherever you're listening in from. I hope you're having a great week. We're getting nearer and nearer to the fabulous time of Christmas. Hope you're getting ready. You've got all your shopping done, been out down and you've done your, your run down to the lingerie department, all that kind of thing all out the way. And I hope you're ready and ready to have a great Christmas. Uh, uh, the there you go. I had to let it out. I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> hold it in any longer. All right. Okay. Shut up, Stevie. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Now, anybody got any idea what we were doing at last Christmas, what we were talking about? No, well, uh, 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 apart from podcasts, you having to go at me, do you want to know well, what we're talking about? Go on, Mark. No, these podcasts are hard enough to remember last weekend. Well, the first week, one, the, one year. of the first subjects we were talking about was Rishi Sunak setting out. Now, this is in December last year. He was setting out a five point plan for the channel <laughs> migrant crisis. I was just about to say, was it more immigration <laughs> failure by any chance? <laughs> uh, Unbelievable, isn't it? How about Nicola Sturgeon's latest wheeze to launch independence referendum? Uh, She's still relevant. Nicola Sturgeon. Uh, I see that's gone well as well, hasn't it? That's another one gone well for him. I know. I I, I mean, Mark's going to give us a rundown, but I'm giving you a few of these stories (laughs) about what went on. Twitter stopped paying rent on their San Francisco offices. That was the beginning of the (laughs) new X, baby. Ah, right. Was that uh, was that a year ago? That 
Yeah. 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 How about how about Dominic Robb now facing eight formal complaints in bullying probe? What a big bully he was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, went yeah. well for him as well, didn't it? Yeah. So it was been a bit of a dire year, hasn't it? Really. So mm. that was it. MPs and peers asked for brothel and hired sex worker on trips. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that seemed like yesterday, not a year. I know. I, mean, I did at the time. Wow. Oh, I mean it happened. If Sunak had been prudent during COVID, he'd have had more money for nurses. Would you like to dress up as a nurse, Stevie? I'm not going there. Move on. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, going back, like, bakery, <laughs> bakery owner defends non-binary gingerbread people. <laughs> I remember that as well. <laughs> How can you, this is last it's year. Not, I mean, it's, not it's got still any better, funny. It? Let's face it. <laughs> Put the willies up me. That did. <laughs> England <laughs> Cup winners, twenty twenty two. It's finally home. Yeah. No, that wasn't the man, was it? No, it was the women. That was the mm. one. That was the you one. Know, I can't get man. over that because they actually uh, they won the cup. Came home straight back in the kitchen. I was ashamed. I know. I know. What about the the man who thought he'd found baby Jesus in a packet of revels? <laughs> he found a revel. We're not going to make fun of Jesus at this time of year. No, Thank it you. was a revel. A revel shaped in the form of baby Jesus. Okay. Absolute nonsense. Did you see I, that did. meeting it that I put true. up the other day where the two, where the, there was a lady and a man opening an Amazon parcel? And they said, oh, my God, Alexa, I said, can I have some baby, baby Jesus? Jesus. <laughs> Not baby Jesus. <laughs> oh, baby Jesus, not baby Jesus. Oh, I'm getting I the right way around. He's lost the plot. I know I haven't lost anything. In fact, the only thing I'm losing is my patience Do I with you. you. Healthy approach to things. I'm drinking lovely tonic water here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I am. Lovely well. tonic water. Yeah. Fresh as eels, it is. <laughs> yeah. Fresh. <laughs> right. Fresh from Carlsberg. <laughs> Mark, go on, give us something. We, we, you know, that's some of the stories that we did from last year. All uh, the fine beers are also available, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. other yeah. reputable stores. Yes, indeed, boys and girls. Okay, uh, Mark, give us a rundown of the year this year. I mean, wow. Jesus, what the hell has gone on? I mean, There's don't forget. Pick from. Let's not forget. The Chancellor has had one trillion in receipts. So tell us, what has he done with all that money, Mark? Go ahead. <laughs> Good question, really. What has he done? He bought a load of dinghies. dinghies. I think we should be using them for return journeys. But anyway, should we have a little look at what's gone on over this year? Indeed, yes. Go well, ahead. I mean... Okay. Can we just talk about Christmas and move on? No. Yeah. Well, I'll just go through a few things. I've just tried to pick the highlights. Obviously, we had a coronation, didn't we? That was nice. Uh, Harry's been a tit, so we, we ignored that. <laughs> We've had car wars, haven't we? That's been fun. Car right? wars. Oh, and actual wars. I'd rather forget about them. Oh, don't forget, everyone's still racist and transphobic. That'll never end, will it? Um, what have we had? <laughs> Scottish gender. Bollocks. <laughs> that was Literally. fun. No pun intended. Yeah, which led to, I think, Sturgeon's downfall. So I'm surprised she's coming back. Oh, we've had a year of the fake cons capitulating. That's been interesting. Remember Nicola Bully? That yes. one as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lockdown files, they were interesting too, weren't they? Oh, I remember the arse was falling out of GB News. Oh, finished. definitely. Did you see them on a begging letter the other day? Support nah, GB get... News. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. got that. I got the email, yeah. Nah, it's too late. Too late, <laughs> too late. Uh, what else have we got? Councils going bankrupt all over the show. Yep. Well, I just want to talk on a little bit of a positive, actually. I've been on a bit of a keep fit. Uh, thing this we year. were talking so we can, about councils, you know, not you. Well, we can come back to positives. There's yeah. a few more. And, uh, if anyone can I, think of anything else, right, I was just going to say, I can't quite run as fast as the uh, growing national uh, debt of Warrington Council, to be quite honest. <laughs> okay, yeah, that. we get it. We get it. Okay, mute. Okay, that's the second <laughs> mute. What, how many bets have you got, Trev? What's your bet? I've got four tonight, but it being a Christmas special. A four? Oh, I put four. No, the Christmas special. Well, then no four five. it is. It's going to be four. Steve, you're going, going to be muted six. four times. Be warned. I, I don't really care. I'm beyond caring now, to be quite frank, about yeah. many, many yeah. things. I've got a good price on that. I've got eight to one at Ladbrokes. Four, yeah. four mutes. Four mutes. And a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah. 
Should I go through some more interesting yes, things please. I've had this year? Because he no, interrupted you. He wanted the attention on him. Do us a favour, Steve. Him. Don't worry, I'll finish you. What else have we had? Strikes, strikes, strikes. Inflation, inflation, inflation. Oh, reshuffles and reshuffles and reshuffles. Yeah. They've been amazing. Oh, yeah, we just mentioned immigration through the roof. That's never going to change, is it? The time yeah. we had the biggest reshuffle and got uh, Reform UK yeah. in there. It is, isn't it? Um, <laughs> get the plug done. in, oh. get the plug in. Hang on. We had Panic Over Sunshine. That was my favourite one, remember? It was a little bit too hot. This is good. We had Russell Brand, Hugh Edwards, and oh, was it Philip Schofield? Hugh who? Hugh who? Hugh who? Mm. Hugh who? And uh, record numbers of gonorrhea and syphilis. Not sure if that was related to the, <laughs> the previous three. <laughs> well, and then, of course, yeah. everyone hates the Jews again now, don't they? Yeah. I just... Oh. I'll finish with the last one. The year of Farage, I think. Oh, yes. Banks it's and jungles be. and stuff. It's got to be, hasn't it? He was. He then, got yeah. debanked, and then he came third in I'm a Celebrity, Get, celebrity, get Me mm. Out of Here. Doing all right, and the he? Conservatives were saying, well, we think we might have him back. How about and that? the ITV mm. News tonight put out their headlines, which I just caught about two seconds of it. Ex-UKIP leader, Nigel Farage, comes third in the jungle. Oh, they didn't actually put the honorary president of Reform UK. No, they wouldn't push him like that. No. No. That's the way that the lamestream press That's are. just the way it works, isn't it? I just, again, it's just something caught my eye straight away. Sorry, Matt, continue. They, they, I'm they enjoying think, this. They think it works, though, but they just find something that they can link to a slur, but it's only in their perception. Because we were all with UK, we know exactly what they stood for, and it wasn't what they think. It's just no, hilarious. but I get, with, sorry, with the Warrington Guardian, I get, uh, I know what the headline will be. Yeah. Ex-UKIP chairman now stands for reform. Everything is ex-UKIP chairman to put a slur straight on you, what they consider to be a slur. Exactly. exactly. It, it, it kind of creates that strides in the fact, though, doesn't it? <laughs> It makes yeah, people it more appealing. Doesn't work. <laughs> Look at Farage. I'm putting some Christmassy music on in the background there. Ooh. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Doesn't it give what? you nice, warm feelings? No, not yeah. really. No, because I'm feeling a little bit down at the minute about oh, you putting. Right. You're putting that. I feel like I'm living in Gaza at the minute, and you're putting on <laughs> yeah. little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> Because I've got to sort out, even though it's Christmas, <laughs> I've got to sort out 56 funerals this week. <laughs> And it's not right. <laughs> All my tropical fish have passed to the other side. <laughs> They've gone to that fishy, fishy heaven. At 56 funerals I've got sorted out this weekend. I That's th- a lot of digging. <laughs> I think the cats in your area have actually me- stitched you up. All my tropical fish wiped out. Uh, Gutted. And then the cats are going to get their own back if you don't give them to them. <laughs> they're, going to call, <laughs> they're going to call the RSPCA and just say... Oh, what's that, cat? Meow, 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 meow. Trevor killed the fish. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to tell you this. I need to tell yeah. you this. As Rishi last year was talking about his five point plan, story in this week, Daily Mail, Home Secretary James Cleverly unveils new bid to curb record. <laughs> Immigration. This is a year later. A year later. It's been going on for 30 years, this now. It's running amok. Nobody's going to do anything about it. I know. <laughs> it's, the ongo- it's the ongoing plans that never actually come to anything every well, year. I think only your reform UK have got a six point plan. That's it. It's only them that's got anything that's um, legit. Well, and also those Christmas favourites. The cost of your favourite festive chocolates with boxes of roses and Quality Street getting 50% smaller in the past decade. This is what Trevor was talking about, shrinkflation. Oh, shrinkflation. Oh, that's happening with a lot of things, actually. Hey, I was in Asda yesterday. I don't shop in Asda, but I was just up at Birchall, so I called in Asda for a few things. And she said, would you like a bag, sir? I said, thank you. Yes, that's very kind of you. And I got this bag, and it fits about three items in it. I said, is this bag suffering from shrinkflation? Uh, from uh, shrinkflation? <laughs> and she just looked at me, she not had a clue what I was on about. I said, the bags have shrunk. Yeah, but they cost more. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, yeah, the price have gone up, yeah. 
And they've actually shrunk. Honestly, you can't get as many items in them. Well, we're not going to do any of the sort of really horrible stories tonight. We're going to going to go with something that is a bit lighthearted, really. Right, British Airway yeah. bosses apologise for telling cabin crew what bras to wear under transparent uniforms that led to comments from <laughs> leering passengers. <laughs> Did you get, look at Steve's bras, face. Really? Look at Steve. I know the, I, telling people what underwear to wear. Yeah, female staff complained that some passengers made comments about bras. <laughs> hey, the passengers didn't complain, though. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though. I mean, if, they want, if they want any advice on lingerie, it staves your man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, is. he travels around all the lingerie departments of a weekend. He is. He is. All right, here's some of the best, best comments. Let's just see what we've got here. So beautiful, XXX. Congratulations, BA, XXS. <laughs> and this is important news. Uh, and another one, why are the uniforms transparent? Serious fail. <laughs> well, not as far as Trevor's concerned. He's flying BA no, no, all the way. And another one, absolutely ludicrous. And it was like 200, there's nearly 300 comments about that. He said, maybe... It, would you issue skirts that are transparent as a uniform in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone experienced in designing work clothes would be a more suitable choice than a fashion designer. Elizabeth. More than Wasn't 90% it? of the garments are produced using sustainable fabric from blends of recycled polyester. There is a satin shirt option. For men and women, the scarf is far too long and isn't safe. And it wears satin shirts. Sure. Yeah, didn't they do all this to make all the uniforms? Um, mm. what, what should we say? Um, acceptable <laughs> to both not, sides. not specific to any gender. Generally acceptable to Generally both sides. They've got to be good for the environment. Look where this has got them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see through unfolds. skirts, compulsory thongs, and that's only the stewards. Oh, let's sing a thong. Uh, another comment from S. Mm. Savage. Here we go again. Yet another world famous company going woke. Only one way this is going to end. They're going to be naked coming on. <laughs> Did you know what the pilots had to wear? No. They've been, no, they've been wearing the gazelles mankinis. Whoa. Yes. Yeah. So you've I been thought selling. sales had gone through the roof. Yeah, sold yeah. the first two. Well, it's got to go through the roof because planes fly. Ooh. And how they do. <laughs> Fly, 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 fly. Like my yachting company earlier on in the year, I mentioned. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's sort of a yachting, yachting, uh, yachting hey, company. Yachting, yeah, how much have you had to drink, sir? I mean, it's getting... Not enough yet, apparently. But I've started up a uh, <laughs> a yachting industry in my loft, and the sales have gone through the roof. All right. Well, here's something. Here's something that Statsman uh, gave to me. <laughs> oh, ready? I'm blame for this one. <laughs> what to do if a face-ripping, bone-biting monkey attacks you? And who would win? Well, come on. Who would win? Who would win, Stats? If I had to fight a monkey, I reckon I'd win, you know. No, if it was chimpanzee, you wouldn't. Oh, I would. Uh, what I'd do is I'd distract it with a banana, right? And then I'd get it in a rear naked choke and just put him to sleep. There you go. Good night. Easy. What would you do, Gazelle? Kick it in the nuts. <laughs> the monkey nut. <laughs> okay, Stevie. What will run. you do? Run fast. Run. Oh, a yeah. little monkey. No, what do you reckon? He just talks it to sleep. <laughs> 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 it's, uh, yeah. hey, a little monkey. What type of monkey it is? Monkey covers quite a range, doesn't it, really? What type of monkey was it, John? Chimpanzee. Yeah. That will be easy. Yeah. Oh, no, down, no. little chimpanzee. Give it a right hook. You in. Well, Good they're night. wild animals capable of incredible feats of strength and athleticism. And after a series of attacks, our own Hazard Harry, <laughs> Hazard Harry from the Daily Star t- takes Never one. Let on. you down, do the Daily Star. <laughs> I mean, what? You do, would you really? I, you, you just wouldn't. Anyway, you see all the pictures. He's posing with a with a model of a chimpanzee. He wouldn't go in there with a real chimpanzee because actually you would get like sort of uh, badly injured because they are so strong, those people. Well, Michael people. Jackson didn't. Oh, he got on well with bubbles. We're bu- oh, yeah, but there was a reason for that. <laughs> I know he used to blow bubbles, but that's not yeah. 
the song about that. It was. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Mm. All right. What to do if a face ripping, bone biting monkey attacks you and who would win? A rhetorical question indeed. That was the one and only comment that was in that story. The one well, and I, only. I give this a lot of thought last night on the basis this might happen during the course of my working day to day. And um, I'm, I'm still giving it some thoughts because the likelihood of this happening is, um, well, rather little. Well, I'd say it's about 95% because you work in Chester Zoo. Mm. I don't work in Chester Zoo. <laughs> Yeah, where they where they serve um, porridge to the monkeys. Porridge to the monkeys. Porridge Didn't to the monkeys because they're in cages. You're, you're safe. <laughs> yeah, less one gets out. Yeah, less one gets out. Man was knocked out and lived an entire other life with a new family. Now he misses them. This is a bizarre tale about a man who lived an entire life after being knocked unconscious before waking up by distorted light in his vision. So he revealed that he lived an entire life after being knocked unconscious. Can you, wow, where does he live? Well, I don't follow this. What do you mean? Uh, he, was knocked unconscious. He, he was knocked unconscious and in his unconscious state, he lived an entire life. So he had a, a wife and kids while he was knocked I out. Do that. I do that on, on this podcast. Well, I've week. got a wife and kids, else. and I want to be knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to live another life. We could quite easily arrange this. It's just not a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 mind-blowing experience. And it's eerie in a way, but involving a man, he lived an entire life with a wife and kids before waking up at the aftermath of the accident. And the story was shared on Reddit, where the man met a woman who made his heart skip a beat, called The Lamp Story. It garnered a lot of views when it also was circulated on TikTok. I wonder oh. why. Well, can you imagine getting knocked out and then in your unconscious state, you get married? I mean, that's... That's not a happy thing. That's that's <laughs> not. He woke up and phew. <laughs> I mean, to go to sleep married, to be unconscious, and then all of a sudden you get married when you're unconscious as well, <laughs> and then have kids. You'd be like, "What? I was getting away from that life. I was looking forward to something here." You know, what's so your name again? Turn you against any religion. That would, wouldn't it? You'd never believe in oh, God. God. <laughs> That is just, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, Steve, what would your best unconscious state be? You know, would you would you like to get married again in your unconscious mind? Yes, I would. I said money lane again, clearly. She's oh, wow, well, you... D I think I might change my face. I'm, uh, I'm dabbling at them, what is it, 20 virgins, you get? Yeah, no, it's 40. I will actually, uh, one time in the ne next few podcasts down the line, I will <laughs> tell you about an experience of what I consider to be, and I uh, had this experience about three years ago, uh, which I think was a near-death experience. Was that when Jonathan told you that first story? <laughs> it was when he... <laughs> it, it was one of those times where he just wouldn't shut up and it was like, Forever, forever, forever. Well, when I was saying, when I was saying, Steve, sorry, Steve, well, I story. have had a rather unusual experience where um, it's very spiritual, actually, very, <laughs> very deep. Yeah, we get that every week, three yeah. of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really do waste my time at times. Uh, it's just like. Uh, we, we know what, you know, Steve, there is another option. It's like, me, on occasions on this podcast, I have to say, it's being like, it's 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 like being that sole beacon of light in a sea of dark bewilderment. What was that, Steve? Can't hear you. <laughs> Steve, I can't. Steve, are you there, Steve? <laughs> <sighs> oh, sorry about that, Steve. The music just... Took yeah. on a whole th mind of its own. I thought I'm moving into an unconscious state here. And we then need I'm to get the up. music started. Yeah, we, can, we can't hear the music there. If yeah, you can't yeah. hear the music, well, that's good. 
Now, actually, I just want to say, what are your plans? I'm going to ask here, what are your plans for Christmas? Are you doing anything? Are we going to maintain a bit of Christmassy feel to Christmas? Or what? Well, because yeah, as long as, me- as long as HMRC doesn't bother us. Hey, Trev. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Us. Us. Us victimised people. <laughs> well, what are you vilified. doing then, Stevie? Mr. Mr. I, well, I've got so much on. I've got to do this and I've got to do that. Well, what are well, you doing? Actually, well, actually, first of all, we're doing, uh, I'm doing the shop. I've got a schedule, actually. Uh, I've got have a you? Schedule. So yeah, you're I getting have, up actually. in the morning, go in the toilet. No, uh, on, well, I'll tell you. As you Looking for it. toilet paper. <laughs> no, What's on, past nine? On, on the, the 22nd, I'm doing Christmas deliveries. On the 23rd, I'm doing Christmas shopping. On the 24th... Oh, my God. Can you see this? He's reading this out. He's got it in his diary. He's leaving that later on. He's just giving it to him. That's why before he came on air. And then uh, on uh, Christmas Eve, we're actually going to the cathedral service, the Midnight Mass. And then uh, Christmas Day, obviously, we're at home for Christmas dinner and then just spending time at home. Uh, Boxing Day... now. And this is happening. I'm going with my daughter. We're going for a walk up Movama first thing in the morning on Boxing Day. Bum, bum, bum. And then on bum, Wednesday the bum, 27th, I'm painting bum, my bum, bum. office, which is in here. Bum, then bum, uh, bum, on uh, the 28th, I'm bum, doing bum, bum, a few bum, jobs bum, in the garden. Bum, 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 29th, bum, I'm painting bum, bum, one of our bedrooms. I have the tiger. On the 30th, I have the raven. <laughs> on the 30th, we're having a day out to land in now. This you is finished, so yeah. interesting. I, I'm just about to stick going, a needle in my eye, okay? On the 31st, <laughs> we're going for a, a walk in Delamere Forest. I tell you what, I can't watch that Rishi Sunak stuff. After that, will be exciting after this. <laughs> and uh, on the 1st, I'm going back up Movama again. Oh. So that's our Christmas, yes. Yeah. All right, okay. Got up Movana, that's all I can say. Well, I, all I can foresee is sitting down, relaxing and drinking. What about you, Trev? Does that sound good? That sounds brilliant, that. I mean, my uh, my daughter will be picking me up. We're going over to... I'll spend Christmas with my daughter, my my two granddaughters, and my son-in-law. We have a fantastic day. They cook me lamb every year because it's my favourite meat. I'll have a, a bottle of Malbec with the, uh, oh, with yes. the lamb. Oh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And then... New Year's Eve, I would normally go around to Mallys every year, and I'm not quite sure what's going to happen this year. Because Julie's not that well, so we're going to have to see what's happening. Oh, dear. It is the time of the year where lots of people are not feeling well. I mean, at the moment, I'm I'm living with the one-armed bandit because she got jealous after I broke my arm. She decided to break hers. I didn't feel hers. too well at 23 minutes to uh, uh, 8. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that was, Stevie. Stevie, Stevie. <laughs> Mark, what are you doing for Christmas apart from working hard there at your public house? Yeah, I was going to say work. I can't wait. I get to watch everyone else having full moon. Oh, <laughs> oh, we'll have a nice meal on Christmas Day once everyone else has had fun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Steve's going to be, he'll spend most of the day just doing his hair, probably on the on the uh, Christmas morning. No, he'll be spraying that spray that I got mm. him for his Chris, early Christmas present. The one yeah, that actually yeah, makes yeah. the hair look yeah, spray for thicker. Christmas, that's right. He'll be spraying that, stuff, that, that black stuff you buy that makes it look thick. That's the one. Yeah, but Steve was <laughs> thick to start off with. No. <laughs> he was. Uh-oh. Come on, oh, Mark. Elaine, Elaine, just check the back of the mist a bit. Just check. Check. Chick, 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 chick. Chick, chick. Oh, look at this. See what he's doing. What was that? One bit of uh, aftershave on. What for? You're on, on your arms. You're on video. Can you shave your arms? We can't smell <laughs> anything. Oh, God, this guy no, stinks. Is it nice? Is it nice? This guy stinks. Go ahead, Mark. Perfume, huh? Must be oh, honest, you know, promise, um, that's all I can say. Putting makeup on at this time of night. Yeah. Take that lipstick <laughs> got, off. It doesn't suit you. Got to be on a promise. Got, not with a beard. <laughs> Although, maybe. <laughs> Mark, go ahead. Right, well, you remember Santa, wasn't it? My good books, was he, last week? No. Yeah, I uh, thought that was uh, absolutely appalling. I have to say yeah, this. Well, Give don't, a shout worry. Down to Santa don't worry. Don't worry, no, no. I've, I've found a way he can redeem himself. So I'm going to wait a couple of weeks till he's free, and I'm going to ask him if he's got any time, maybe January, February, March, while he's quiet to do a bit of a foreigner with his sleigh. I'm thinking we can um, 
probably take some people back to France and back to, I don't know, Syria and Afghanistan and all that. He, he can just keep doing return legs, can't he, honestly? And we'll get net uh, minus immigration at some point. I, think right, I was that, having a word right. with him last week in Bent, so I was sat on his knee <laughs> and he asked me what I wanted <laughs> and I said, well, I'd like a crate of uh, Frexy net, if you don't mind, Santa. 24 bottles of uh, sparkling white wine. I said, it just so happens, um, I've got my details there, if you can just... Uh, Put it on your credit card, and that'll suffice whilst I'm here. And have you been a good boy? I was on the naughty list, but I'm, I'm not bothered. But um, I got away with it. Oh, God. I, re- I was at church. I was playing on uh, last Sunday, and uh, they turned around to me. Who was it? It was, uh, it was Frank, one of the lay preachers. And he turned around to me, and he said to me, Oh, Jonathan, he said, your family's having a lot of bad luck lately, you know? With your son suffering from the throat problem with tonsils, you know, your wife breaking her arm. He said, he said, it looks like the man downstairs is having a go at you. And I said, well, if he is, he's broken a contract with me. <laughs> I'm about to have a go at him. Okay. It's supposed to be the other way. It's supposed to be having lots of luck, you know? I mean, if you make that kind of a deal with your soul and all the rest of that stuff, that's it. And you should have seen his face. He was just like, um, um, okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> because they're very, very staid, you know, in the in the way when they talk, they can't take it. You know, they nope, said no they said in the, there was another thing they said in the service. It was um, they said, uh, "Is there anything, you know, in the sermon they were going? Is there anything that annoys you?" And people have their hands up and they say, "Waiting in queues." And some others turn around and said, "Waiting for a bus." Uh, and I had my hand up. Oh God! And she said, she turned around. She said, <laughs> she said, she said, she said, what annoys you, Jonathan? I said, waiting for the toilet. <laughs> she said, she said, well, there's a toilet in the church, and I said, no, at home. <laughs> 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 With three, three women, two toilets, and you can guarantee when you want to go. I, both of them are being used at the same time. You know, that's <laughs> it. And uh, she went, uh, right, okay. You know, and the congregation laughed, you know, but she went, oh, okay. And that was it, you know, so there you go. Anyway, what does annoy you? Anything annoy you about Christmas, Steve? Uh, well, um, no, I like Christmas. I think it's fabulous. To be with you. I just want to give a what intermediary uh, early shout out to Jesus on his birthday coming up. So, uh, Oh, yeah. Do you know him? Hey? Do you know him? He's been around a bit, hasn't he? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I've, I know him because he plays for Brazil. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Okay. Jesus, yeah, and he's a good player as well. Well, you'd have thought that somebody was playing for Liverpool. I thought Jesus was playing for Liverpool the other day. Did you see the match? No. No, no, no I didn't see that. No. Oh, it was great. You know, they were 1-0 down and then they went 2-1 up. It was a good match, good match. Okay. Yeah. What, uh, what annoys you, Mark, about Christmas? Starts way too early, doesn't it? Oh, it no, does. I think it starts quite late this year. Actually, it's not really been sort of mentioned a great deal, apart from people like me doing our bit to bang on about Christmas and, and promote it and things like that. All right, tell me something, Steve. Is this is this jumper black or is it grey? <laughs> is that wall white or is it black? What's that got to do with anything? Well, it's what? just that you seem to be the opposite of everything. No. What do you mean? No, I. Yeah, I'd you like did. To- I like to be different. I'm, well, you I'm like to be that. different. Yeah, well, you are. You don't have to worry about. You don't have to work at it. You're definitely, yeah, you're certainly you're different. Definitely, I definitely don't go around the lingerie uh, areas of the weekend. Yeah, that's right. You're definitely different, Steve. Definitely different. <laughs> you're definitely different, Steve. Especially, yeah, like a bag, Actually, like is a uh, box of chocolates. My wife describes me Elaine as very special. <laughs> that she does. Yeah, well, I can imagine with all special needs that you've got. Yeah. Our raven is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> run, raven, run! <laughs> uh, don't do that to your hair. If you do that to your hair, Steve, I'm telling you now, it what? might just come a little bit more. Might come off at the front. Okay, uh, you might upset the glue, right? So leave it, leave it alone. What's, what's left of it looks fine, mate. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. It's okay. Okay. I, am not I mean, the bad. gazelle doesn't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care about nothing. I never liked Christmas, mate. Till I had granddaughters. Never, never, ever liked Christmas in my life. I, I think any particular reason? Fabulous. No, just never liked it. 
I, find oh. it, I just I just find it so commercial and so. Did you well, like that's why forced. we need to get back to the spirit of Christmas and do the the Christmassy proper things as much. I as do you now. Can. I do now with my grandchildren. I mean, I yeah. absolutely love Christmas. Did you like that joke? You know, where that guy turned around and said, "said it, Christmas is totally spoiled for me." He said, "My father said the Santa doesn't exist." He said, "So I went off to the pub <laughs> to have a drink." Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went off to the pub and had a few drinks. Yeah, I could. <laughs> I was gutted. <laughs> Go ahead, Mark. I was going to agree with Trev actually before Steve chipped in. I was going to say chipped in. This yeah. guy, this guy tells a complete story when he yeah. chips in. I used to like Christmas, then I got a bit fed over it. Same old, same old. But then yeah, when children come around, it kind of reignites, doesn't it? I just oh, yeah, think it needs yeah. to get back to tradition. To, to tradition. Like Steve says, yes. Christmas was about something. Now it's just commercial. It's just about making money. And it's being used for people to attack, you know, that don't like our culture. I just wish they'd all bog off somewhere else, to be honest, if they're not happy. I told my kids, you know, I told my kids one year <laughs> that Santa couldn't get the loan <laughs> that he wanted <laughs> to pay to pay the elves, so there's no presents. <laughs> So you get you get in these web of lies, don't you? You've got to try and get out of them. <laughs> it's hard. I got I got ones. Can I have a Lego Death Star? No, it's five hundred quid. Well, surely the elves can make it. I said no. Actually, there's a there's a there's a price limit on the, the prize the presents everyone gets. <laughs> <laughs> Under three hundred quid, son. I'm afraid Santa can't afford it. And I think he started thinking, "Hang on a minute, something's not right here." <laughs> and then I started feeling like these heavy blows coming down on me. Well, I, I agree with, you, with Mark there when he's just saying, if you don't like it, you know, don't try to disrupt ours. No. If you don't like it, yeah. don't celebrate it. That's Either right. That or just bog off. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's that simple. Yeah. If we you all don't in. like it, off your flip-flop. Go on, off you go. This you is know, a lovely when... one. What child is this? Played so beautifully by me. Okay, compliments, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. What? I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> Just pretend you can. <laughs> Humor him. <laughs> Look, I'm miming. <laughs> All right, I thought it was a steel band. <laughs> steel band. <laughs> Calypso version of What Child Is This? Oh, yeah. Have you seen, oh, little child of Bethlehem on the steel band. I Have can't talk about these, Bethlehem. Uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yes, we can. We can They're really about, good. We can talk about Jesus and we can talk about our churches. Actually, if you really want to get an idea of Christmas, I would suggest this to anybody. It's really good. Uh, just go to any of your local churches, visit there uh, on a Sunday service or anything like that if you want. Well, sometimes when it's just open, just go and sit in there for a little bit. Yeah, and if you see the charity box, pick it up and walk out with it. <laughs> it's got car machines in there, no? You can't be saying things like that, man. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? Everybody's got to live. The church is rich enough. No, we don't. Don't forget, if you're coming down to meet me at Midnight Mass, don't forget that bottle of sparkling white wine. Yep. Put it in the font. Trevor doesn't mind have playing Bob I Apples know. with sparkling wine in the font. Because they, every, t- every time I've been Midnight Mass, which is very, very rare, I used to go saying to, um, oh, what was it called? Oh, St. Mary's Club on thing and we used to go over and everybody was drunk. We used to be in the club all night, all the acts would be on, and then everybody would scuttle over the road to the church for Midnight Mass and then scuttle back to finish off the uh, celebrations. I said once, in, uh, it was in the Catholic Church, actually, and I played there, and it was for a charity for them. And I turned around and I said, do you know what? I've heard about St. Cecilia, patron saint of music. What a doll she is. And I said this in front of an audience of about 400 people. And my mother was out front going, no, 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 no. And I said, I said, yeah, mom, it wasn't me that said it. I said, I got that from St. Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> And she's looking at it, she's got her head and hands like this and like, you know, oh my word, oh my word. 
Well, that's you, not the Cecilia that I know. I said, I'm, you're never going to heaven. I said, I had no plans. <laughs> I said, no plans. Well, anyway, there you go. What about this last one? You'll like this. Are you ready? Wait a minute. Are you ready? Well, we are, but we can't hear anything. Well, what do you mean you can't hear anything? We can't. As anything. in, we can't hear anything. There's the last of the year. It's called We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Well, I don't care if you can't hear anything. I can. I'm liking it. It's hard work, isn't it? It is hard work. <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the last show of this year. We're all taking a break until the new year. We don't know um, whether the oh, Raven is going to be excuse with us or not. Me, excuse me, we haven't finished with it next week with our Christmas special. No, 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 that's it. We're taking a break until next year. That's it. Sorry, no, would you like a break? Uh, would you like a break in your leg? <laughs> we, we're doing one next week. No, we're not. Before Christmas. No, we're not. Well, you're doing it on your own then. Go ahead. Well, are we not on next week? No, um, we're not on. Well, I'm just going to say, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that we were on next week, and I'm sorry. I think this is appalling. So I'm going to take the opportunity. I don't care what he says. I'm going to wish you all a very happy Christmas and a, a fantastic New Year uh, and uh, lots of other things. I hope you have a healthy, wealthy, and a fabulous New Year, a great Christmas. Take a bit of time out. Enjoy time with your family, your friends, and your children, and go to church if you want to. Have a bit of time out. Remember what Christmas is about. All right, thanks, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of the show. Yep. <laughs> and uh, just have a great time. And if you're struggling out there at this time of year, as some people do, pick up the phone, speak to somebody, go and see somebody and have a chat. Indeed. All right, okay. Well, I think we're about well, to call the Good Samaritans now. <laughs> After all of that. Okay, I'm pressing the button. That's it. That's it. That's it. Last round. No, we're not having a last round. We're going straight to the end. We're shutting the doors. It's going to be a lock in. Right, Stevie. Oh, so You've already that. said goodnight. Thank you very much. Trevor. Christmas night out with him. It's bad on book, isn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good night, ladies and gentlemen, and have a super, super duper Christmas. Indeed. Don't get too merry, don't drink too much, and have a wonderful new year. And we'll see you in the new year when we are going absolutely full visual and also yeah. uh, fully naked. Full Even visual, yet, full we frontal. Doing, we're, we're doing an OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> That's only something one. to look forward to, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right, okay, stats man. Oh, I say a big farewell to all our lovely listeners. Hope you have a good Christmas and New Year. All Indeed. the very best. Okay. See you, all, see you all in the new year. Indeed. Okay, Steve, you've already said your piece. Just no, use your one not, little thing. That's it. One little thing. Right. Just stop, stop, stop. Just no, no, no. Stop. You called me Pipsqueak last time. You can get I, lost. <laughs> well, that was polite to tell you. Yeah, you can get lost. <laughs> well, now, I'm just going to say to all our fabulous listeners everywhere, I hope you do have a great Christmas. Now, the other thing I'm going to say is this. We are going live next year where you have the benefit of seeing us visually on live streams and things like that. Now, you will obviously realise at this point why. Yeah, we question why with you on it. Yeah. Why I'm the official pinup for our group. Oh, uh, yeah, they're going to find that out. Self explanatory. And everything will be done in a very tasteful manner. None of this smutty stuff that all talking All about. in the best possible taste. <clears throat> so I'm just going to say, have a great Christmas and New Year. Um, That's it. The fourth mute. You, Mark, oh, you've won. You, you and Trevor and have we'll won. You all- oh, we share a prize. Yep. It's, it's just... It's <laughs> at times, really is. By the way, by so, the way, uh, lads, yeah. lads, it, uh, he can't hear us right now. So, okay, he now convinced that there is not a show next week. <laughs> so we're on, okay? I so we're all over. What? No, he can't hear us. I Steve, you're in a different reality. <laughs> you're in a different reality, Steve. <laughs> well, it's great where I am. I'm not sure. You, you can't, you, Steve, you can't. This is not me you're listening to, Steve. Trev, Trev, Mark. Next week. Okay. He's actually lost the plot. And we are doing a show next week. I don't week think he ever had the plot. None of this messing people around and stuff like this.